Day after day, crews have been watching Coeur d'Alene River, looking for any sign of a gas leak. Last weekend, there was a small drop in pressure in the Yellowstone pipeline between Enoville and Cataldo. We immediately began walking the pipeline route and uh, also put an, an airplane up to uh, do surveillance of the lines. A ConocoPhillips spokesperson says the pipe carries gas and diesel from Thompson Falls, Montana to Spokane, where it's distributed. It goes throughout the eastern part of Washington and as well as in Idaho. When the pressure dropped, the line was idle with fuel inside but not being actively pumped. Since then, the five, six mile stretch of pipeline in Idaho has been isolated. Crews used a smart ball that can pick up sounds that indicate a problem. It showed nothing. Then the gas was displaced with water to do a pressure test and the line held. We're going to increase the pressure in the line, see if that indicates any kind of an irregularity or a small leak. As ConocoPhillips continues to test and search for answers, out of precaution, there are already three booms out on Coeur d'Alene River. You can see one of two right behind me that's stretching across the river. There's a third one that's put out along the shoreline. The Kootenai Environmental Alliance has been keeping tabs on the issue, anxiously waiting to hear the results. If there's a gas leak, we have serious concerns about drinking water and surface water because a gasoline leak could be devastating. If there's not a gas leak, we'd want to know what caused the pressure to drop. The company has been taking water samples, which it says have been coming back clean. It also believes there won't be any disruption to fuel supplies. We have alternate means for shipping product from Thompson Thompson Falls to Spokane, and um, and there are other sources of supply in the Spokane area as well. In North Idaho, Anusha Roy, KXLY4 HD News.